And acetylcysteine, also known as NAC, is found naturally in foods like fish, dairy, meat, and even soybeans, and has been used since the 1960s to improve lung function in people with cystic fibrosis. Many also know N acetylcysteine for its ability to treat acetaminophen overdose, and NAC supplements are very popular for their ability to raise glutathione, a potent antioxidant substance. But what else might NAC supplements do? Researchers analyzing the effects of N-acetylcysteine in 120 people with chronic obstructive pulmonary disorder, COPD, discovered that after one year, people taking 1,200 milligrams of N-acetylcysteine showed improvements, significant improvements in lung function. And they also showed a reduction in a worsening of their COPD symptoms. Other researchers have reported that N-acetylcysteine appears to benefit some people who have chronic bronchitis as well. Researchers noted better maintenance and less relapses of ulcerative colitis, which is somewhat like Crohn's disease, when people used N-acetylcysteine supplements for 16 weeks. The effect was deemed significantly better for those taking NAC supplements than those who took a placebo. People who deal with lupus show decreased levels of glutathione, something that N-acetylcysteine is known to raise. Some research has shown that N-acetylcysteine supplements improve some symptoms of lupus. And here is a report of two people with lupus showing improvements in their lupus symptoms when N-acetylcysteine was added to traditional lupus therapies. At least one study has revealed that N-acetylcysteine supplements may improve liver function in people who have non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, a liver condition which is actually on the rise here in America. Since N-acetylcysteine has been shown to improve lung function, some researchers have wondered if it might also help sleep apnea. Maybe. Here we have a paper where 20 people were given either N-acetylcysteine or a placebo for 30 days. Those taking the NAC supplements, they showed improvements in the time that they were asleep and they snored less too. If you have the flu, N-acetylcysteine supplements may be something to take a look at because they appear to inhibit the replication of the influenza A virus, the flu. Now, what you're looking at here is basically a cell study, so what about people? Maybe. When 262 older adults were given N-acetylcysteine supplements for six months, something interesting happened when the researchers infected everybody with the flu. When they did this, only 25% of those taking N-acetylcysteine showed flu symptoms. In those who were taking a placebo, it was a whopping 79%. So while everybody got the flu, only 25% of those taking NAC supplements showed flu symptoms. N-acetylcysteine may even help some people who battle bipolar disorder. In this paper, N-acetylcysteine supplements were shown to help depression in some people who had bipolar disorder. As an aside, I will link to my other video on depression supplements if you want to dig further into this. Are you taking N-acetylcysteine supplements? Leave a comment below and let me know what you think of all this. Until next time, I'm Joe from SupplementClarity.com. Take care.